Save data, yes or no? Well, you know, normally my eyes would be on the words yes and no to try to make a choice here. But my eyes are actually fixated on my calves right now. Because they're thicker than my thighs are! Holy crap, man! Yeah, save data. You know what else I see? Neato. Oh, you can totally do the thing. Whoa. Where is this? Oh, I see. They have to, like, jump back and forth, see they? Hell yeah! Free missiles, why not? Oh yeah, also check out this 60 frames per second. At least I think it's 60 frames per second. It definitely looks like it. I don't know if Slavs is recording it that way. I did kind of set up some things in the in the Whatchamadoo hickey, but uh, and we'll see when the recording comes out whether or not, you know, things turned out the way we want them to, but hey. Till then, uh, I guess we're gonna be looking at our map till we can find our way to be free of this loneliness. Now, I want to check for something real quick. I got a couple of hints in the comment section about possible... Oh, no, maybe not. Or maybe we can come around at it from the other side. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, this does feel good to play, though, I gotta tell you. Mmm, it just feels good. Why does it feel so good? And also, why does it hurt so bad, in the words of Whitney Houston? I don't know what Whitney Houston has to do with any of this now, I'm taking damage. I'm just whizzing through everything. Have I even been in this room yet? This feels a little weird. A little unfamiliar. Wait a second, where was that the boot-shaped room at? I think that was in the other area. Let's see if I can get back around to it. Yeah, yeah, okay, because you go through the wave beam door here. Or whatever. Oh, I never checked that lava room. Where was that at? Yeah, it was this room right here, actually. My bad. Uh, but this is the one where they said to missile the wall. Maybe... Uh-huh. How about that? Wait a minute, though. Ah. Oh my goodness. This room looks dangerous. Missile it up here. It's another missile pack. Hell to the... Yeah, man. Did I say hell to the out last time? I shouldn't have said it twice. That would have been... So ridiculously stupid, boy. Just looking around to make sure there's not like something else in here. There's probably multiple people. I don't mind people telling me about stuff like that, honestly, because I think it's pretty. Like, it's gonna save me time in the long run, and like, I feel like if I'm looking anyway, it's not too much. You know, like, if I miss something, well, I just miss it. I don't really. Well. It's almost like I'm saying I won't take responsibility for it, isn't it, though? To... Well, I sure don't know. Alright, where'd this other room go? That was just to a thing. Okay, so... Yeah, let's see if we can get back out of here now. So I did head up this way last time, but... And this looks like a really long hallway here. That would just take us straight over to what I think might be that lava room. Yeah, I love being able to just run through and kill everything. It feels so good, man. It feels so good. Alright, and now that we know, we can do this. Now, oh, there's a missile pack. Uh, yeah, how, 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 how fast will this drain my life? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty fast, but I feel like, oh, if there's something down there, I bet it's gettable. I'm not chancing it, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do it. I mean, apparently the game doesn't want me to go down there, and I'm not going to do it. Alright, I reckon we're just about out of here. 
last one of those things right there. Actually, that was the first one of those, now it's the last one. Because we're going the opposite way, so yep. Swing way right on through here. Jeez, they look like Metroids almost. Get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. I want all of you. Yeah, someone did mention, I think, that the color-coded doors were like that because you have to, like, unlock a specific thing to get them or something. So it's not so much about what weapons you have. Oh, hang on. That one's not open down there, is it? No, okay. Boy, there's some creepy sound effects in this game, I'll tell you what. Uh, sure, I'll recharge. Man, already at 45 missiles. That feels good. Feels good, man. Go ahead and save while we're here, while we're here. Go ahead and save. What you got to say, navigation room? Atmospheric stabilizer's online, but many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2! They know how to count. Hmm. Yep. Pretty much. Start moving, I'll brief you at the TRO navigation room. Gotcha. What's TRO? Touchdown Raiders. Oh my god. Let's leave then. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That's just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. Yeah, in before the computer is the other Samus. Wouldn't that be crazy? Haha, <laughs> shot you in the eye. Oh, well, I was about to, but... Okay, whatever. So, like, how... Mm, da -da -da -da. Oh, it's all the way over there. That's a long walk from here. Yeah, the upgrade that I missed is in this far right room, that boss room there. I think that can, that one can just wait, because it's probably just another missile. So get back to that later. I don't know, though. What if the rest of the game is all just these six... Or whatever places? I don't know. We'll probably have to go back up and explore the upper area in between two of these, though. If I had to guess, that's how a lot of Metroids work. Alright, Nav, tell me more. Oh, this game is so good. Oh, this is a smaller area. Okay. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. It's me, motherfucker! Samus, it's an X mimicking you. I have named it the S-A-X. Dude, not again! Don't show that child, it's scary! I believe the XAS came from a capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. And what? Can I use power bombs? That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X at the start of this disaster. But the sax is definitely our biggest worry right now. Is it okay if I call it the sax, or is that too awkward? I don't know. Just run, don't think about fighting. You're still very young and vulnerable to cold and unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Oh. Oh, I see, yeah. So I'm kind of like a Mets... I'm like a Metroid Samus. Am I a Samtroid? Or am I Metsis? Or a Metmus? I don't know. Of course the sax is armed with the saxophone. You better stay out of the rain or it'll go insane. If you see it, just run. They have bomb data ready in the data room. 
bombs will help you find a way out if the sack traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the hatch. Or the level 1 locks, okay. Ooh, well that's the fun of it, isn't it? So first find the security room and unlock level 1. Hatches, then go to the data room and get the thing. Simple enough. Yeah, I know a lot of people's grievances with Other M had to do with Samus, like, not being allowed to use her powers. And that was, like, the only reason she couldn't use them, is because she wasn't authorized to. So, it kind of seems like this game is a fitting compromise between the two. Because it's not so much that we're finding the powers as it is that we're just downloading the data to use them. Well, the fact that we're downloading them, to me, is kind of hilarious. But there's also a good story reason for it, though, because, like, I'm got the Metroid vaccine, I don't have my normal suit here. So it kind of makes sense that things work a little differently with this suit. And therefore, you know, in this story, they would work differently, too. So I'm gonna go left first here. I've seen a lot of enemies I recognize from Super Metroid, this is good. I've never seen this before, this area. Uh-oh. Oh, you can trap me in here. Oh, that's not good. Should I not have gone this way? Ooh. Uh. I guess I'm not supposed to go this way. That's my guess. That's gonna be my guess for now. I recognize gatekeeping when I see it. Nice. Alright. About this room here. Boy, I'm really glad I got that upgraded gun, because I gotta tell you, these guys are getting tougher really fast. I love a good difficulty spike, though, as much as the next guy. And there are no butts attached to that statement. I really probably should use my charge more often, shouldn't I? I'll say the charge is a little bit noisy, but... Yeah, that's probably a bombable wall right there. If I had to guess, this is probably actually where the bombs are. Yeah, sure enough, that's the D-room. Well, at least we know that now. Let's come back for that later. Yeah, that would've been too easy. That would've been way too easy. Man, I gotta quit being careless here, man. See, so yeah, I'm seeing a lot of spots here. A lot of spots. This is really fun, man. No wonder you guys have been telling me to play this for so long. This just feels really good. Just classic Metroid here, man. So, how long, like, this game came out in, what, 2004? So, is this how long people have been waiting for a proper sequel, or to see, like, how the story finishes? I mean, we can only pray that Prime 4 follows up on this, being sort of a canonical Metroid 4. Or for the original, I don't know, kind of like how Super Mario Advance is like Mario 4, sort of. At least that's what the title said, I think, when I saw it somewhere pretty recently. Worth it! <laughs> Wait, you know what? Nah, no, okay. As I say, that ceiling looked a little suspicious, but... Well, everything looks suspicious to me, good lord. Hi there. Um... Is this safe? I don't know about this robot looking thing here. Oh, hey! Okay. So you're gonna grow to love these robots when you see them, is basically what you're telling me. Oh, look at that! Now they open! That's so good! Oh, it feels good, man. 
so the blue dwarves are like level one. Makes sense. I swear there is something in here. I'm gonna come back with bombs maybe later. So try to stay full on energy here as best we can. Alright, what's in here? Save room? Nope. More like suspicious of the single blocks than the double ones. I don't know though. Hmm. That room is weird though, we'll definitely keep that in mind. We definitely want to. That's probably a room where you like come out later after going through a secret passage somewhere. For now, let's just get back to the data room and get our bombs. Then yeah, maybe we can figure it out from there. Boy, those things come right at you, don't they? Nice, though. Alright, give me the D. Mmm. Bomb data downloaded. Gee, I wonder how we're gonna get to use those. Alright, I wonder how easy bomb jumping is in this game. Think so. Man, I'm ready for our show next week. Oh my god. What? What? Uh, that's not good. That's not good, y'all. That's creepy because that tells you somebody's been in here. I was about to say something. Oh, I guess I was going to try to. Wait a minute. Oh, you can't do that on this one, can you? Oh, uh, the bombs take a little longer to explode, so... Timing is a little different. Oh, I expected the left wall to crumble, not the bottom. Jeez. <laughs> Save room, thank god, okay. Yes, we'll save. I got a bad feeling about this, though. I should probably cliffhang the video right here, but... I can't! I need to see what happens! Besides, we're only on part three here. Oh, lordy. We will have to, like, knock yourself up, though, with bombs. <laughs> it's a lovely choice of words there. Nothing there. Alright, cool. <laughs> Bomb puzzle here, do we? Wait a minute. All right, first, let's get this thing out of here. Uh, something was definitely there. I'm not sure if I, I didn't find my way into it, but Yeah, what I might just do is record this continuously and then cut it at a pivotal spot. And be like, oh shit, and then like cut it in the middle of the word shit, you know? That's just such a YouTube thing to do, though. Oh wow, that's a side hopper of a different color. 
And I missed. Aha. What you not know about me is I never missed twice. So I'm saying that now. No, actually, I'm pretty sure I have. It's tearing up the tracks, man. I don't know. Do I want to go down there or through the door? Mm. Oh, that's like a one-way... Oh, a blue one. A little tougher than your brethren, are you? Ooh, we got the red one. Oh, no. Does that mean... Oh, God. I know exactly what that means. Also, was I just imagining that? Or... Okay, a little bit of a flow screw attack there, maybe? Alright, let's see what happens. Hmm. Oh yeah, I recognize those guys. From Meridia, I've seen those. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Am I trapped? I can't be. Hi there. It's like a thin thing in the floor there. Are there others like it? Maybe not. Da -da 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 -da. Well, they played me for a fool there. I thought I was about to like run into something there. like a shine spark area here or something. Oh, this is weird. Nothing much here. Alright. Um, it's making me more and more nervous each of the further I get into this. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. No, I'm not going to do the ocean thing. I'm just going to stop it here and say next time on Metroid Fusion, this is a really bad place to stop. But maybe it's not. I don't know yet. Anyway, see you guys later. Oh, gonna just sleep here.